Hi everybody, I'm the Ted at Sid and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be doing a the part two to my army talk video. I did a part one like a week or so ago and I'm just now getting around to filming it. I've just been cleaning and like being lazy so sorry but here we go. So let's begin with part two. So to pick up where I left off, I graduated AIT, which I explained in my last video, and I went to Fort Bliss, which is in Texas. I did about like two weeks of in-processing when I got there, just, you know, to in-process on posts and stuff like that. After that, I went to my actual unit. I went to a heavy brigade. Ooh, I just cannot talk. I went to a heavy brigade and was placed in an FSC, which is a forward support company, which has like mechanics, fuelers, uh, drivers, ammo handlers, stuff like that, stuff that supports the rest of uh, the battalion. With the heavy brigade, that just means that you have like tanks and big vehicles like that. So there's different types of brigades. You could have a light brigade, stuff like that. When I first got to my unit, my unit was already overseas in Kuwait. So as soon as I got there, they just were pretty much prepping me to go overseas to help support. And I actually got to my unit December of 2017 and I flew out to Kuwait January of 2018. So when I got to Kuwait, I was super excited and nervous, but you know, I was happy to finally be out of uh, the training environment and in the real army. When I actually like was with my section and everything, I worked my ass off. I hit the ground running. I was high speed. Uh, my biggest goal was I was striving to be Siren Major Skiles one day. That was I would say that to everybody, that was my goal. I was gonna do 20 years in the army, all that. And my best friend, Cam, uh, she had the same worth ethic as me. And so, you know, she always helped me and she made Kuwait uh, so much better than what it would have been without her. Kuwait wasn't bad though. And I even got to go to Iraq for a little bit. My Sergeant Major at the time, he wanted to like rotate everybody through Iraq at least once, so I got to go there. My time overseas, it was, I, I was only there for like six or seven months, but like it went by pretty fast. Um, the last few like weeks dragged because you send everything home so you don't have anything to do. So you're just sitting there waiting for your time to leave and that's, the crappy part. I flew back to the States July of 2018. I got quite a bit of time off. It was much needed and well deserved. We pretty much started like back with like fields and gunneries when 2019 hit. We didn't really do too much for the rest of 2018. Most of my time at Bliss I was an ammo squad and as I said in my last video I am a fueler but I was not being treated fairly or mentored, uh, so I asked to be moved because I would much rather work under somebody who gives a shit about me and is willing to mentor me, whether it's my job or not. Uh, I just, I don't care, I'll learn anything. Uh, I know a little bit about kind of everything. I enjoyed ammo life though, like during field cycles, it kind of sucks sometimes because they would do like nighttime shooting. So you're, you'd be up till like 6 a.m. handing out ammo and stuff like that. In April of 2019, my whole unit went to Poland for an EDRI. And an EDRI is an emergency deployment readiness exercise. We went to Poland and did like some fields and stuff like that for only a month. It was only a month long, so it wasn't that bad. After we came back from Poland, time was going by pretty fast. Um, then the month of September hit and that was NTC month. And NTC is a national training center and that is at Fort Irwin in California. 
And in shorter terms, it is hell. NTC is 30 days of nonstop bullshit. And 14 of the days, you go into what's called the box. And that just means like, everyone goes out, you have to turn in your cell phone, so you don't have any of that. You cannot drive with bright lights on. So you have to use this tiny like MVG that hooks onto your ACH. And um, you can't see shit out of it. Thanks, Army. And uh, it's a horrible time. If you have to shit, so you don't have a shower or a bathroom or anything like that. If you have to shit, you shit in what's called a wag bag. And it has like kitty litter in it. And it's not a great time. Um, you, if you want to shower, you like baby wipe shower or you use some water from like the water buffalo and make do. The box isn't even really the worst part though. It's the coming out of the box and getting ready to go home because you draw all this equipment from civilians and so you have to turn it back into them and like it's just so nitpicky. It's just a painful turn-in process and um it's yeah it's painful that's really all i can say and then when you come out of the box and you're doing all that so you have like these showers and it literally looks like a concentration camp like it's yeah i don't there's no words for it <laughs> but thankfully it's only 30 days-ish long, right? So that finally ended in October, so it's not like it lasts forever. Once the beginning of December came, uh, that's when I started to clear Fort Bliss so I could PCS to Fort Stewart. And PCS means permanent change of station, for those who don't know. Again, when you like PCS to different places, you always in process. So I had to go through that and, and process to Fort Stewart. Officially went to my unit February 2020. Again, I went to another heavy brigade and was placed in yet another FSC. And as soon as I got to this unit, I they were already heading overseas. So I flew out to Poland February of 2020. We went to the same spot that I had went to with my last unit for our Idri, so I guess that was whatever. It wasn't that great. I'm burnt out with Europe. We only stayed in Poland till about like August, September, and then we headed to Lithuania. I don't even pronounce that right, but it's fine. It wasn't too much different than Poland, but it's cool because I get to add another country to my list that I've been to. We only stayed for like a few months and then we came back stateside. Uh, I came back to the States like the beginning of November, like that first week. And with all that being said, that kind of leads to now. Uh, we're getting some time off, but when 2021 hits, that's pretty much like we're going to be busy as hell. We have field after field scheduled, gunnery after gunnery scheduled, NTC uh mid next year ish i believe um but this is my last contract 2021 will be my last full year in the army but that's a video for another time if anyone's interested in my decisions for not wanting to re-enlist but yeah so <sighs> Everyone has a different experience in the military. I can't speak for everybody, but this is just my experience and some input from myself and all of that. If anybody has any questions about something that I did not cover or you'd like to hear more about, please let me know. I would, I do not mind at all answering any questions or covering another topic. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.